Yo, what is up? So, you just put the MSI Claw, all 10 of you, and you got the 512 gigabyte model, um, but you wanna upgrade the storage, you wanna upgrade the SSD. So, this is exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be upgrading the SSD on the MSI Claw. Now, I wasn't gonna do this because I didn't wanna waste my uh, two terabyte SSD. Let me know in the comments below if you even got the MSI Claw and you're looking to upgrade the SSD. Let me know if it's even worth it. Because if nobody even wants to do this, then I'm not gonna waste my two terabyte SSD because I'd much rather put it in a better device. So let me know in the comments if you even want to know how to upgrade the SSD. Um, I don't think many people bought the MSI Claw, um, but maybe in the future it's really popping. So anyway, in the comments below, um, I'm checking the comments in the future um, and it looks like somebody wants to see this. So anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the MSI Claw and upgrade this SSD here. So before we get into some things you're gonna need, you're gonna need obviously a screwdriver. Um, you're gonna need the SSD, of course. I have a, a prior tool just to pry the back off and I have an SSD cloner. So SSD goes in here, or the new SD goes in here and it pretty much makes an exact copy. So let's get into the um, the MSI claw here. Just so you know, there are a few screws on the back here. That's all you have to do to get the back off is loosen these screws. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Now, this bottom screw here is going to be under like a little uh, sticker. I don't know if that voids the warranty or whatever, but I think it's illegal to void a warranty if you don't break anything. So open it up anyway. So there's a screw under this sticker. Make sure you get that screw as well. So as always, any time, let's get the back off. Okay, so we have all the screws loosened. We should be able to pry it open here. So just get that pry to in. Then you're just gonna add a little bit of force and go around the edges. So once you go around the edges, you'll be able to pry it up. Go around the entire device here and pry that up and you're gonna be um, good to go. So I will say the top is a little bit tighter than the um, the side. So just make sure you pry that top up. And then you can just take the back off. There's no real cables or anything to worry about on the back, as you can see here. Okay, now that you have the back off, um, you're gonna see why this is probably not the best sort of situation for an SSD upgrade. This may be the worst SSD upgrade I've ever done. Now, there are a few more screws on the back. You have to um, take out the, you have to take out the battery. And that's gonna make sense once you realize where the SSD is. Now, the SSD is actually under this right fan here. But in order to get this fan off, it's attached to the entire cooling assembly here. So you have to take this whole thing out. So we got two screws here that um, are connecting the battery to the, the fans here. So one screw here, one screw here, and then two screws on the side. So one screw here, and then another screw here on the side. So take this off, and this is gonna allow us to take the battery out. Now we're not gonna take the battery all the way out. We're just going to um, remove these screws so we can sort of um, reposition it to get off the fan. So we're not gonna take it all the way out, but loosening the, and taking these screws out does allow us access to the fan. So once we get the battery screws out, we can sort of move the battery, just put it to the side, you don't have to take it all the way out. So just put the put the battery to the side here. And now there are um, a few more screws here. So there's a screw here on the top, and there's another screw here on the other side of the fan on the top here. Okay, so once you have your two fan screws undone, there are three screws on the CPU um, heat pipes. So you have to take these three screws and loosen them up. Don't take them all the way out, just loosen them up. It's, they're spring loaded so you feel the spring sort of release. So just rotate them a few times until you feel that spring um, release or you know it feels like it's loose enough. You don't have to take that these screws all the way out. So just loosen these screw, screws a little, you'll feel it. And then you can now um, pick the fan assembly up. So um, like shift it up from the bottom and then you can um, sort of pull this um, forward and then once you clear the grill here, you can now flip this back up. Now, this is the reason I think this is the worst SSD upgrade of any handheld. Once we pull this up, you see this is actually the CPU. So this is the Intel Ultra 7 155H, which we all love. Um, so amazing at gaming. Um, and we have to actually, we're gonna have to actually reapply the thermal paste on here. Now, 
you can be a mad lad, you can be, um, you know, risk it all and not replace the thermal pair, um, thermal paste. But if you take off the, um, the cooler, it's, it's best practice for you to replace the thermal paste on that. So I do have some, um, some thermal paste here from, um, Thermal Grizzly. I'm going to be reapplying that there, but I just think this is a really bad design having to repaste the CPU with thermal paste just to get the SSD swapped, that's crazy. Because the normal person, the average person, is not going to have thermal paste just sitting around. But then again, I don't, I don't think they expect it to sell this to many average people because it's so garbage that, I don't know. I feel like I'm wasting my SSD. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys because science. But I will say, I'm gonna let you guys know right now, this SSD, is, I'm putting this in here for now, just for you guys, but I will be putting this in a better device in the near future. I'm planning to maybe put this in the um, the new GPD Win Mini 8840U. I, I ordered the um, 32 gigabyte and 512 gigabyte model of that. I'm gonna be putting this two terabyte in the Win Mini. It's a much better deserving device than this garbage um, MSI uh, claw. Anyway, enough ranting. Let's just get this SSD out. And it's not like a regular SSD where um, sort of like it pops up like it's spring loaded. You have to sort of um, shimmy it out of there. So you're going to want to just gently push it back while lifting it up ever so slightly. So now we got that out. This is the 512 gigabyte SSD. Now what I'm going to do is put this inside of my uh, SSD cloner here. So one SSD goes in here and the other SSD goes on the other side. Put this in here. And then it's going to um it's going to clone them and then i have an exact copy now we're going to put the ssd into the slot here we sort of have to just uh, maneuver it push it into place it doesn't really um like pop up like a regular ssd would it sort of just slides in there and then you gotta just sort of make sure it's pushed all the way in let's get the screw back on there now i'm gonna repaste this um i'm gonna repaste the cpu here uh, probably skip this part in the video because everyone does um, thermal paste a little bit differently and I'm just a brilliant average dude so you may not want to see me messing around with this thermal paste but who knows I may leave it in okay so we got the CPU uh, repaste it with thermal paste now I pretty much just reversed the process we're going to put the fan assembly back in slide it into place and then we're going to tighten down the um, the CPU cooler fans or cooler um, uh, screws here. So it's three screws on the the CPU cooler. We're just going to screw those down. Don't over don't over tighten them. You'll feel like when it stops, and then you can um, stop tightening it there. So we'll just um, screw those down, and then you just pretty much go in reverse. Um, so yeah. Okay, so all of our back screws are in. Now we can check out to see if the upgrade was successful. Let's get into the system and uh, check out our storage um, capacity. Okay, what you notice is that my drive is pretty much full and you're not seeing the rest of the two terabytes. We're seeing um, like, you know, 512 gigabytes or 456 available. In order to get the full storage capacity, what you're gonna to want to do is you want to go, gonna to go to um, disk management. So you just go to uh, disk management, and you're going to see. Uh, so it starts for disk management, and then you see where it says create and format hard disk partitions. You click on that, and that's gonna take you into this um, section here. And bring on the brightness so you guys can see a little bit better. So it's gonna take you into this this section where you can um, format your drives, and you're gonna see we have. Um, 1400 gigabytes unallocated. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna pretty much want to 
expand or um, see if you can expand the C drive or make that like a separate drive. So we're gonna we're gonna right click on this. Um, we can't expand it. So what we're gonna do is we're pretty much going to just um, make this a new drive. So make that a new simple volume. Click next. It's gonna give you all your storage. Click yes. Um, okay. Next. What we call this? Uh, we just call this uh, games. We just call it games for now. Call this games. Next. Finish. And then made that a, it made that another drive. So it's, it's still internal. You still have just one drive, but you're gonna see two drives in Windows. One is like the uh, original um, 512 gigabyte partition, and this is the rest of the two terabyte drive. So now you have another, um, you know, 1.5 terabytes to put all your games. Now, if you also want to get that in Steam, you want to go to Steam settings, then go to storage. You're just going to see that first partition. You're just going to click add drive and then you'll see that 1.4 terabytes available. Click add and now you can add all of your games to that remaining storage. So there you go. That's how you upgrade the SSD on the MSI Claw. I think it's pretty much the worst upgrade because you really need to, to repaste the entire CPU, which I think is a huge oversight um, from the um, MSI Claw team. I don't know what they were thinking. I know maybe um, they want the SSD to get cooling from that fan, but then the, I think the fan should be able to be separated from the cooling unit and not all come out as one piece because having to repaste the SSD, um, I mean, having to repaste the CPU just to change the SSD, I feel like is a huge, a huge no-go in my opinion. It's not the hardest thing to do, but the average person is not gonna have thermal paste around or even want or know how to do that. So that's just one added obstacle to the device that's already not really doing so well. So um, hopefully they set a few more of these so we can get some updates. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was the SSD upgrade. And um, let me know what I should do with this original 512 gigabyte SSD. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this. Anyway, like subscribe ring that bell all that great youtube stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace